I'm Sean. That's Sean G. <laughs> and today on this episode of Recall, we're going to talk about a very interesting film. If you took Rosemary's Baby and then mixed it with Shutter Island or something, <laughs> just just something where the character is insane. Anyway, if you took Rosemary's Baby and, and butchered it, this is what you get. <laughs> Scream at the devil. y'all I kind of like this movie in a weird way because there's some interesting ideas that are executed very poorly and there's some standout performances which we will highlight God damn you out of hell! so I'm just gonna get right into it bells is the first thing you hear we're in Italy and our hero appears and uh, you'll see in this first couple of scenes that there's so much e editing that doesn't make any sense. It looks like she's on the History Channel and she's about to go to the underground city of, you know, like uh, under Venice and all types of stuff. And then she's just <laughs> taking pictures and you hear camera shutter. <laughs> it's so lo low key. This is like really calming and sweet. We cut to her in her hotel room, I guess, or her house, and she gets a call. Guess who it is? The husband. And he's not there because she fled from America to go to Italy to get away from her husband because he slept with a young woman. And he's like, so how long are you going to be away? Um, uh, <laughs> when are you coming home? It's like, I'm going to need a minute. <laughs> Like, <laughs> How am I the asshole? Exactly. I said I'm sorry, Miriam. I'm sorry isn't good enough. Oh, I have no right to be questioning when how soon I get home. Uh-uh. So she's just like, I'm not mad at you. And it's like, yeah, you, you should be. And she's just like, I can't forgive you. And for some reason that he tries to make her feel bad over the phone. And she's just like, I'm not doing this. <laughs> We see these like cuts, and I call them boom boom cuts in boom, Italy. Boom boom cuts. Because it's like boom, 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 boom. I just, she goes to the one of the cathedrals, and she she tries to touch the Virgin Mary with baby Jesus. It's like she touches a, she's, something. In she's there. like, oh, and it, it's, it's she touches it. It's like oh, ah, it's spicy. so hot. It's so spicy. It's spicy. <laughs> and 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 it's like okay what and then she she decides to have a full on mental breakdown in the cathedral and starts saying uh, some weird Latin tongue stuff and then she starts talking to the ground and she's like what a baby what a baby what a baby come on a baby what a baby give me a baby give me a baby please I'll do anything and then like this poor priest who's just like what. Well, you know, he looks over, he's like, oh my God, like, what's happening? He tries to be like, are you okay? She's like, fuck off! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he's like, oh, shit! <laughs> let, me get, let me get out of here. But for some reason, the devil, like, he hears it, he's like, heard through the grapevine, he's like, bet! <laughs> I'll see you in a week or two! And cut to black. Mariachi music over there. Oh, uh, yeah, the mariachi music. And it's just like the whole music is just like oh you know like all like getting like hyped up and like the violin is going crazy and then she's like doing all her things and then the demons are roaring in the background and the priest is running down running for some police because she's having a mental breakdown about to swallow her tongue and all types of shit and then we don't own that we can't do that is it supposed to be funny? Is it supposed to be like really the tension? The only reason he did it is because the the, the next scene was oh, Hispanic. The <laughs> Yo te bendiga. I'm from Ohio. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hit her good. Oh, fuck this movie, man. They cut to mariachi music because they're in a moving truck and then the truck opens up and then over the credits, the last credit, the director or whatever. And and you see the perpetrator, the husband. 
<laughs> he's staring off his glory with one of the movers. He's helping the mover kind of move the last bit, bit of whatever. And he sp- says something in Spanish to him. I'm not sure. Dios te bendiga. Dios te bendiga. Dios te bendiga. The mover is like, I'm from Ohio. Like, it's like, what the? <laughs> Excuse me. It just reminds me of my girl who's like, por favor. Hi there. Una por favor. The husband and wife, the, the woman who was in Italy, who turns out her name is Miriam. I don't think we get to hear that until a lot later. And the guy is Gabriel. And you will hear a lot of his name being shouted. Insert. Uh, they're moving into the house. She's obviously like, uh, yeah, I guess it's nice, whatever. And he's like, let me carry you over the threshold, my my bride. And and she's just like, I guess I'll humor him. He's trying to do stuff. And she looks inside. The house is beautiful. Like yeah. they got a lot of land. This pool in the back. All types of stuff. Oh, it's nice. It's cute. Mm-hmm. It's nice. She's not trying to give away that she likes it. And then he's like, all right, the pièce de résistance, right? Ooh. He takes her. <laughs> you like that? That was like, <laughs> that sounded spot on. He takes her outside and there's this little pool house that has been retrofitted into a apartment type thing for her to yeah. be away from him. <laughs> and also an art studio inside. And she is just like over the moon and happy. And they start to have their relationship men montage. They have a little picnic. They move. They move furniture together. He oh, makes man. jokes. He tells this. He tells stories. And he's like, "I love you, honey. I'm so glad you're back." And he's. She's like, "Ditto." And maybe the best part of the movie because they're just yeah. improvising it. They, they, it looks very. They're very natural. They, mm-hmm. they have like there's there's some chemistry there. There was chemistry. There was a uh, lightness, and you can see there maybe they were a good like match at one point. It's not too long after that. Miriam decides that this is a good time for me to have a mental <laughs> breakdown, <laughs> and she sees. Well, I mean, it's n- who knows? Because that's one of the parts that I was thought that was like an interesting thing. You'll find out later that Miriam has cis- schizophrenia. She's had many miscarriages, and that's the reason why their relationship is kind of on the rock. It's like rocky, but the devil's back in the cut. Like waiting, he's like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna make her have a mental breakdown at this day, and then I'm gonna make the fireplace angry at her on this day, and <laughs> yeah. then I'm gonna be in the shower in this day. And- is weird so she sees visions everywhere and he's just kind of like who the, the hus- devil the husband oh gabriel he's he's kind of like you okay you know like at first he's like you good and then she's like yeah i'm good and then she starts to have a little, she starts to get relaxed and seems happy and then he comes in all rugged and she's he's just like hey baby and she's like Hey, baby. <laughs> and then they start to get hot and heavy, and then she was just like, no. Nope. It's okay. No, I can't. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm out. And he's just like, well, damn. They start trying to put furniture together. The demon's under the rug. He's like, skirts by. He's like, <laughs> Oh, the snake demon? <laughs> the snake demon. She's like, because they, they make a jab at Ikea. Cheap Swedish junk. He sees her tripping again, and he's like, Jordy, are you taking your medication? Because we're going to have problems if you don't. And then they start getting at each other's throats. It's finally happened. A little late, don't you think? Considering I've been busting my back going up and down that effing driveway all day. He hasn't had any... Liquor? No, he's got Cheers. his liquor. That's right. No sex. He had no... He hasn't gotten any appreciation. No appreciation no, for all this a little, little appreciation, appreciation would, be nice. would be nice. And they have a fight. He does say that, doesn't he? Yes. And you know what he means. Yeah. But the reason why he's also saying appreciation is because he's a writer and apparently very successful to the, to the point that he's got groupies. My writing supports us. But she's an artist. Well, your art doesn't sell, bitch. And she's like, my art what? My art what? He said, I said what I said. Your art sucks. They get interrupted because his car has arrived from wherever they, wherever they moved <laughs> oh, yeah. from. The young, car, young buck comes up. He's like, hey, I'm here it's with your car. And it's like 
a super it's like it's like a ferrari or whatever you know like souped up it nice like muscle. A or some yeah shit. it looks it's a nice car it's a classic only 400 of these were shipped into the united states 250 dollars you're trying to rob me blind and he's just like you're 100 miles from nowhere i undercharged you sure you did so he starts picking a fight because he's got he's he's got the juice now he's got the power he's got his spinach and his his pop he's he's ready and and Mario comes out and diffuses things she's like boys boys don't and then and he's just like oh hey mom what's up mom and he tries to give her the googly eyes and and Gabriel is like do we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get off, youngster? And what? then, of course, you he just alpha of him away. And then he's just, he's like, yeah, kiss my butt. Ooh. And he's, of course, the young guy is like totally happy that he trolled this old man. Thanks, tough guy. Gabriel's like, oh, is he your type? Huh? Is he your type? I mean, I would have been like, who are you to talk? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> who are you to talk? You like him young, sir. <laughs> Good so day. They, so they get into a fight and they just go at it and at it. You promised me you wouldn't drink so much. At least this car won't lose its effing mind. What? You love that little whore more than me too, didn't you, Gabriel? Stay on your meds! I think you just want me doped up so you can fuck that whore! Jesus Christ, I lost our children too. I miscarried! Go fuck you! So, um, you guys don't need to be together. It's over. Get the divorce. <sighs> There's an unrelated ah. scene. But uh, she uh, has a rocker and baby toys. And she was <laughs> rocking, a, I think, a baby doll. And she's singing Hush Little Baby to the baby. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> why? I it's don't know. the most fucked up thing ever. Like, you right just after... had a miscarriage. Well, she didn't, she didn't have a mis she didn't just have a miscarriage. It's implied that throughout the relationship, they've had trouble conceiving, and then they have miscarriages. Yeah. And now they're just the like, latest miscarriage, and then he cheated. You think so? I miscarried. Okay, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah, and then the, but the thing is, they moved to this house <laughs> to get away from to everybody. get away from everything and a change of scenery. Mm -hmm. But they bring the damn crib. And all the memorabilia. And all the memorabilia. Mem I can't even say the word. <laughs> memorabilia. Um, can we, can, can we get like a doctor, psychiatrist, somebody in this? Please. Then you cut to a montage of the car being destroyed. It's like a, a rake goes through it, shovel goes through it, all types of, it's just smash cut, smash cut, smash, 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 smash. <laughs> and no then. Pun intended. <laughs> smash cut, and she's chopping hot dogs. You like hot dogs, and right? And it's very symbolic. <laughs> yeah. It's symbolic. So symbolic. It's such an experimental art house. I, she's making breakfast, and, and it was like eggs and hot dogs. I'm sorry. I'm not if that's what you it's like. It's Canadian to eat. bacon. That is not. It was it was Oscar Mayer. <laughs> and if that's what you like to eat for breakfast, I'm sorry. I can't hang with y'all. <laughs> and the husband comes racing in and he's like, Miriam. And then he kind of sees her turn around with a cleaver. She's like, ah. <laughs> and he's like, okay, cleaver lady. Okay, Mrs. Lovett. Give me the cleaver. And he puts his hand. Straight into the blade. Right into the blade. <laughs> grabs it out the air. Like, that's it's not just, sharp. It's just, it's just cut. You see his hand gets cut. He's just like... <laughs> you know, and he's like... She's like... Did I... Did I Was I holding him with a vice grip? That's crazy. Man, that's crazy shit. And then he's like, Miriam, are you insane? And, he's, and she's like, no, baby. He didn't mean that. But daddy's just playing. And it's like... What? Yeah, she starts talking to an invisible child while he's yelling, he's berating her about Little the Jimmy? The man! That man. And he's just like, there ain't nobody there. Like, he's, it's, this is just the same song and dance for him, pretty much, right? 
Okay, our man is big mad. You don't know what you did to my car! And he riches her away from her breakfast and takes her outside. And he's like, well, okay, you don't remember this. I did not do that. And he's like, you don't remember doing this? And he takes out a shovel. <laughs> That's destroying his own car even further. You remember this? This is where she smacks him. She's like, because he's about to hit her. And she's like, you're never going to hurt me again. Ah. And then she takes her medication and she throws it down the garbage disposal. Dispo disposal. Nailed it. But that's that. She's like, I never need these again. Not getting locked up. Not putting on the, the, the special jacket. Going into the padded room. Never again. Never again. Sounds Never again. Though. Smash cut to her angry painting. Her, her frustration. <laughs> like, just everything. We smash cut to the husband. And wandering around the garage. Getting drunk. I remember that scene. <laughs> Nothing happened. He put yeah. he put the clothes he put the rake away or some shit. Yeah, and then he gets stabbed by some un unseen person. That's in the that's in the lobby, the library, the study. Oh no! Oh yeah, he goes back in. It was the the knife in the study. Yeah, <laughs> clue. <laughs> no, but he comes. No, he does go out. He gets. He's like oh, drunk time. Goes back in, and then he's like, huh? And then it's right in his face. Much. And then she's like, Gabriel! She jumps she jumps up, Gabriel! As the first of many it. first of many Gabriels. Um, so obviously she either had a mental breakdown and killed him, or the devil said, Now's my chance to to fuck shit up and possessed her. Then he just pulled her pulled her strings and she stabbed him. She she wakes up and then she her hands are completely covered in paint. And then she goes to wash it, and she's like, get out, get out. She, like, freaks the fuck out, and it's like, if you have ever worked with paint before, it does take a while for stuff to, especially, like, acrylics and stuff. So I don't know why she's panicking. Oh, and you look at this beautiful, <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. Did we not talk about the reason why we clicked on this movie, decided to watch this movie with you know, this be team, beloved artwork? I for the longest time, now I'm on her camera. For the longest time, I never looked at this very closely. I always assumed it was like someone with half a body, like holding itself up on a pedestal. She's screaming because there's a, a mouse on the ground and she jumped up. She She's washing her hands. She's frantically washing her hands. She turns around. Demon face. Man, <laughs> demon face painting. <laughs> and he's like, ah. <laughs> he's like, stop. Have a time. <laughs> Get out of my head. <laughs> Get out of my head, man. It keeps on like sneaking up on her. She's like, ah, it's just a painting. And then she turns around and says, ah! She just um, keeps chasing her around the little it does. studio. And then she falls into the into her blood wet paint and she's her rolling paint. around. Her rolling around in it. She's have she having some problems, so much so that it fade cuts because she's it's taking her hours to get up. She gets up and it's like, oh, I don't have any paint blood on me. And then she's like trying to look for Gabriel, Gabriel, and she's just like, Gabriel, 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 where are you? She just gives up and she starts living in the house. I don't know if she's the eating bedroom. or drinking or doing anything or just sleeping. She gets, she hears a knock at the door. Someone is per, like persistently knocking and she gets up and she still has a blood paint straight, uh, stained shirt on and she, and no pants. She's just straight up in her underwear. And I think she was just like, you know what, I'm comfortable today. Let's just, I'll just walk around my underwear, whatever. And she uh, goes up to the door and this is old, this granny. And she's just like, hi, sweetie. Um, <laughs> my name is Bella. And then she's just like, I live, I'm your neighbor. I live just down the road. The next house is 12 miles away. That's not a neighbor. That's... <laughs> That's a stranger. That is a stranger. She came, this <laughs> granny, like, listen, gr grannies be out there walking everywhere and doing what they got to do, get on the bus, get on the train. It is plausible. But this granny went uphill or downhill just to give this, these strangers a loaf of bread that Over she made. Over the gate, too. And jumped, and jumped the gate. She's like, um, how'd you get past the gate, granny? You got hops. And she's just like... She's like, oh, well, I just, you know, walked right through. I let myself in. I will just let myself out. <laughs> Does 
she's a devil. She's a demon. <laughs> and then she's just like, well, you know, I just wanted to see you and your handsome husband. And they all know Gabriel by name. There's going to be more demons. So there are also going to be neighbors. We don't know they're demons yet. They're demons. And they show up Spoiler. sporadically. She tries to touch her hand. Like, she shakes her hand and, she, and it hurts. It gives her a little aneurysm. And she's like, ah. The lady just like, I'll excuse myself. My name is, uh... My name is Bella. Mi old lady. My, na my name is Bella. No, it was something else. Betty Boop? Yeah. Probably. She's like, oh, thank you so much. And then she looks up and it's like... <laughs> she has a demon face and the stomach grows out. And then she's like, oh, God, forgive me. And God is like... I have I she she falls down her back is starting to have demon stores come out of it and she passes out and to she wakes up to a knock at the door and she runs out the house in her underwear and there's a demon delivery this creepy dude is that is down well he, he's down by the gate and we actually see her open the gate she's like I'm gonna get some clothes on or whatever but she just puts a shirt on she wants her it's fine She's the, walking around her underwear for probably a good quarter of this movie. And then the demon demon delivery guy is just like, Hey, little lady. <laughs> Do you need help around the house? I'm about to take and, my lunch. And then he's like, I have something for Gabriel so-and-so. It's a package. And uh, and she's like, well, I'm, I'm his, his wife, wife, so... And he's like, I guess it's okay really creepy anyway she takes the package will you take care of miriam i don't think that package ever comes back yes it does they she writes uh raven writes her name that's on it because granny that, is there that's granny in the shows next up. season or next season Scene. <laughs> hello dear <gasps> oh i'm so sorry did i frighten you this is our neighbor raven no they no they're, they're, right next to that oh, she takes dear. the package and she signs oh, on it you call me if you need anything anything at all and Raven is, she's like, you won't like to see Raven when she's angry. And Raven is like, I will kill you, bitch. Granny's like, Pip. she tries to touch them. And then she's, she's like, oh, did I shock you? Oh, it's so much static up here. It's like, that doesn't even make any goddamn sense. Demon. And then she's like, well, goodbye. I'm a boss ass bitch, 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 bitch. And then she's like, she's having all these jump scares and the cabinets are scary and, and there's sounds around the house. And then she's just like, are you trying to drive me crazy? Cause she's looking for D for Gabriel and she thinks this is just like a big old prank. Like he's just messing with her in the house. Gabriel! Damn it! Is that the one that looks like that she's on candid camera? Yes. Yeah. And then there's a, a <laughs> then we get a demon bee cam and it's like a bee in the house for some reason and it's terrorizing her. <laughs> Is that now or later? I think that's no, later. that's ex exactly after when she says, are you trying to drive me crazy? Oh, the shit. demon bee is like, Ooh, whoa, I'm in your house, I'm in your face. She hears somebody in the house and then she hides in the closet. It's a, it's a demon, but it sounds like a Jurassic Park T-Rex. And it's just like, boom, boom. And the, the demon is like, walk back to the closet. It's like, bitch, I know you in the closet. I think. <laughs> she's, she's like rattling. He's only got hooves for hands and feet. He was like, yeah. <laughs> Wait, this is the hooves. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so the demon gives up and she like passes out in there. Knock, knock. Open up the door. Who's at the door? Some more demons, but they're hillbilly demons. Hi, hi, hi. I'm so sorry, sorry to bother you. you. Yeah, so sorry. This is a scene that goes on for way too damn long. Hi, can we come into your house, ma'am? Our dad says you have to have someone invite you in the house, ma'am. And it's, they keep on stressing the ma'am because they're trying to make her feel old. And then all of a sudden... They're art students. They're art students, ma'am. Ma you girls like art? Oh, we're art students, ma'am. <laughs> At the college, ma'am. But can we see some of those paintings in your living room, ma'am? Well, they look so cool from out here, I mean. I'm a boss ass bitch, bitch. And they tried to get into the house, and then she's just like, you know what? I'm fed up. She locks the door, and she takes, she's like, well, we want to see your studio, ma'am. Ma oh, yeah. 
<laughs> they said that the pool was nice, and she was like, "What is? What are you trying to say?" The pool did not look it's, nice because it's, <laughs> it's full of algae and all types of sea monkeys and all types of stuff. <laughs> looks like it hasn't been cleaned. It in hasn't years. been cleaned ever. Stagnant water. Just and she did. She did. It, and then she's like, "Was that? Was that some sort of joke?" And they're like, "No, we don't have a fucking pool. It's very hot where we are, ma'am. ma'am. Get it." She takes her to the back shed studio, and they're like, well, are you going to come in? My daddy says, dun, 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 dun. Our daddy says we can't go into no one's home uninvited. Wait a minute! Oh. It's just like, and she's just like, are you coming in or not? And she gets fed up with them because they're, they're get frustrating her. And then she, they finally get frustrated with her, and they said, "You're just an old, <laughs> old bitty with tough titties and all types of stuff." I'd be angry too if my husband left me for a younger woman. They just start roasting her, and they're like, "Did Gabriel sleep with someone our age, ma'am?" I was just like, <laughs> "She's like, how do you know that?" How did you know she was younger? And they keep getting uglier and uglier. Like, oh, they have... At each scene, they get, like, a different piece of makeup applied. Their their demon makeup is gray it's makeup shot. to their neck. And they did something to their teeth and stuff and made them try to look ugly. And they're just like... Hur, burr, burr, burr. I don't know how they And then they... All and this is... This is, um... This hillbilly. I think they're, they're uh, cousins of... <laughs> Hillbillies. No. They're a Wyatt. Cousins of Ray Wyatt. Because <laughs> they're like, let me in. Let me in. <laughs> take my car i'm gonna take yours the one that's bent in the middle yeah she starts to try to drive it and then they, all she get, accomplishes is to turn on the radio which is awful hip-hop beat song One, two, three, four. <laughs> Comes oh on. god i remember and that scene and that <laughs> i laughed so hard and that music is the music in the background for her um her mental breakdown. Her next mental break, break mental breakdown number five. Car sets on fire, and then she was like Peter Griffin. And she locked the keys out of the car. <laughs> she locked herself out of the house she locked as herself. well. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bust this window and say, "Damn you all to hell!" Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? <laughs> not me. You better not be talking to me. There's no one else here. You must be talking to me. Our girl, after destroying her own home, she uh, tries to block out the windows after she gets in and she sees apparitions and all types of stuff. It's a beautiful home now is a hot mess, thanks to her. She finally is like, oh yeah, the package, let's see what's in there. She opens it and it's just like, to my loving wife, please forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> she calls Raven and she gets like voices and static and voices. Listen, I'm sorry, I wanted to apologize for being such a bitch. <laughs> The devil's like, hey, you made a promise. <laughs> and you're gonna pay what you owe. She freaks out and hangs up on the devil. And then she's like, you know what I got? I got this pistol. <laughs> got her gun. She's like, I'm ready. She's like, you know what? I'm gonna go investigate. She goes out to the garage and she starts to like look through everything. She's looking for Gabriel. Maybe she, maybe, I don't know what this, her rationale is. Maybe she thought she killed him in her, her, in her madness. So she looks in, in one of the closets and there's a thing wrapped, like a body, looks like a body wrapped in pipe, bubble wrap. And, it is, and she pokes it. She's like, God, and pokes it in the eye. <laughs> it's Santa Claus. And she's like, Oh, Thank it's God. just Santa. Thank God. It's old Santa. <laughs> Merry Christmas. She makes it to her studio. I guess she thinks it's her sanctuary from the from the devil. And in the in the sanctuary of her art studio, there's all these demonic oh pictures. Who did this? Who? Nobody but the devil. <laughs> <laughs> she can't believe it. She shook it. 
Oh my god. <laughs> this mental breakdown episode was crazy. She boards up the place so oh, the yeah. pictures can't get out. <laughs> She's like, you know what I got for you, demonic pictures? <laughs> you gonna stay in here and nail <laughs> You're stuck in here. And then she turns, she hears a sound. Who could it be? Who? 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 Oh! Whoa, damn it. It's me. It's me, Raven. That's so Raven. It's the future I can see. Calm down. Don't you tell me to goddamn calm down. And she's just like, I, I thought you were having a mental breakdown and I hurried down here. And she's just like, how did you know I had a mental breakdown? I tried to call you and then I heard voices. And she's like, I heard the voices too. I was just worried about you and I love you. And it's like, I've only known you for like two seconds. And, and just, she's like, you were worried about me? No one worries about me. I do. Me. Raven is like, I'll help you. Let's go to your house. And I will take care of you. And she's, she's, that, that's all she needed to know. She Nobody wanted to be, cares about me. Nobody thinks about me. Nobody ever worries wee, about wee, me. Wee, wee. What about me? <laughs> wee, wee, wee. She takes Marion to the house and she's like, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to make, in the morning, we're going to make waffles. Trick. Trick. <laughs> and she's just like, invite me in, Marion. And she's like, what? I said. Let me in. <laughs> she starts to get real angry. And the granny told her, you won't like Raven when she's angry. Huh? Let me in. She gets like, don't you get it? And she starts having her demonic face comes out. And she's like doing it's the fast camera. And she's like, that's when the apocalypse happens because the demons decided, you know what? Let's show her what we're dealing with. They set up a play. They're all <laughs> like in red and black face and they're just like, Mariam, Mariam, let us in. We're burning. We're burning. We're suffering. Help us, Mariam. The fires of hell. <laughs> There's one window that shows like hell. Like just everybody's like, woo, what's up? Is this is hell. It's Welcome like, to our crib. This is where the magic it's like, happens. It's just like, but the thing is, it's just like this weird flashlight lighting under people's faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like a, a backdrop, like a like a like a photo shoot backdrop behind them. <laughs> it's happening, and she's just like, you know what? I'm gonna light these. <laughs> light them up. Like every demon, she wastes all her bullets. She's just like, bam, bam, bam. Trick shot. <laughs> it's high noon. It's like, she just, she just click, click, click. It's just going off on these demons. And the demons are just like standing there like, she's wasting the bullets. But then Raven is there again. She's just like, Miriam, help me, help me. Psych, I'm a demon. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. When she runs out of bullets, she runs to the rest of the closet. And of course, her bedroom locks the door and that's it. Next day, Tony Todd walks in with his partner and they're investigating the house. It looks like a whirlwind went through and then oh. the police are kind of like looking like, is this a B&E? B and e maybe? Uh, some sort of struggle? Whatever. It's nasty, man. These people are made. They, but no, they find her in the closet and she's just like, please help me. <laughs> <laughs> so pathetic. They bundle her up and put her on the couch. And she's trying to sleep. And then the detective, the Tony Todd detective, like the best part of the movie. Um, he he's talking to his superior officer, and he's like, "Well, she doesn't want to go to the mental asylum. I don't know why." Apparently, it's okay to shoot your gun off up here. Oh shit! Yeah, well. As long as you're not black. <laughs> He's talking, he on the phone is talking very softly and considerately. And His partner, partner comes, comes in, in and he's just like, This bitch crazy. <laughs> she got drunk or tweaked or whatever happened, man. She ended up get pissed off and him trashed his car. Then he gets majorly pissed off and shit, which I understand and shit, right? And and she he took her car and you know, he took the fuck off. <laughs> she the said, specific he thing. says, This bitch crazy, let's he says, go. He says, I'm not gonna do it, man. <laughs> That's that crazy voice. <laughs> I'm gonna wait in the car. <laughs> he said, deuces, I don't need this in my life. You watch yourself. 
Wait, I'm outside with the guns. He's like, I'm a good guy. If you need anything, here's my number. I'm detective. Insert name here. You call me if you need anything. Cell phones don't work up here. Flashback. She said that she won't go to a mental hospital. End of flashback. Cell phones don't work up here. <laughs> Tony Todd is, is a horror legend, but the, in this movie, he's a good guy. You know how he's a good guy? He looked at the messed up coffee table and he picked up the candlestick and put it at the right that position. Was so nice. That was so sweet. He's a cool character. He's like, really helping out. Like, I mean, so far, this is the only character I like. Yeah. <laughs> I like the kid. What kid? The kid that delivered the car. Oh, yeah, he's just like, he's what like, you gotta do, tough guy? <laughs> Trolling him. Yeah, he's just like, bye. Anyway, she 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 feels a little bit better, a little safer, and she decides to sleep in the living room for some reason. And then the door is like rattling. She's like, detective? And then the door is like, I'm the demon with the hoof hands. I can't get through the door. <laughs> <laughs> he's been trying to break in this whole time. So she decides after the hoof demon is shaking the, is shaking the door now too damn loud and she needs some sleep. She takes a two by four and slow mo hammers that shit in. It's really artsy and important and not for padding the runtime at oh. all. So she barricades the door and she's like, job well done. It's just like two two by fours, right? It was one big like <laughs> yeah. which I don't oh, know yeah. where she she's, she's she like, got it from. And like, then it's if and it cuts the black. Yeah. Next thing we know, <laughs> candles everywhere. She's huddled in the corner reading the book. She's literally like this. <laughs> it sounds like she's reading William Blake. I think it's the story of the woman clothed in the sun and how she's gonna have give birth to the sun who's gonna rule the world with an iron rod. And I will tell you the mystery of the woman and the beast that carrieth her. <laughs> so she read a short story about the Antichrist and then she goes into a fucking psalms 21 and starts saying that i reach to the lord and i am helped and the de devil who's louder than everything in this movie <laughs> she's she's been like i am helped and first where, where she's reading of william blake thing and the, and the child was born and he will rule the world with an iron rod and it's like to a son a male child destined to rule all the world with an iron rod. Where did this accent come Wait, from? Wait, what? Who are you? Who are you reading to? You? Read silently. <laughs> no one wants to are hear you, you. Are you reading this to the to the devil? The nearest person. The devil miles knows away. this story. Devil's, devil don't need you to read him a bedtime story. He comes in and he's he's overdubbed. I'm an echo chamber megaphone. He's sick. Bitch, God's not gonna help you. God turned his back to you two weeks ago. This is my house now. Gabriel's dead. Surprise! <laughs> he really do. He just roast her whole life. You dumb. I'm rolling up tonight. You gonna let me in. And then that's when she hears Gabriel frantically at the door. She's just like, oh, Gabriel, it's you. It's you. I love you. Uh, let me in. I'm gonna break the door down. And she's like, Ow, my shoulder. Oh, this is silly, man. They break open the door, and apparently something is attacking him. We never see what's attacking him. He falls down into the into the house, and he's just, like, looking at something. Like, is the apocalypse happening? Is the devil in the sky? Is he hanging out in the sky? Did we get to see it? What's he looking at? But he needed to be invited in. He did. But he just busted in. No, no, no. Did he, she say, come in, come in, She's come like, in? get in here, get in here. Oh, this is, but she didn't invite him in, though. She said, get in here. That's inviting someone in. Right? She's holding him. She's like, I missed you so much. And he's just like, surprise, bitch. I'm the devil. You, you, right. done, you done fucked up now. There is no God. The next thing she know, you know, she's on the bed and she's like, Gabriel. Where's Gabriel? Gabriel! Gabriel! The demons are all there. They're just like hanging out. They're like laying on her shoulder. Have like a nice good old orgy. Yeah, <laughs> they're, no, orgy. they're just watching. They're just there. Into the, they like to watch. Everyone's there. Everyone, all of them, everybody turned up for this. <laughs> Gabriel. <laughs> everybody came for the orgy. E everybody. <laughs> it's not 
<laughs> an orgy. Not a, not, <laughs> it's an orgy. Anyway, <laughs> they, she's just like, where's Gabriel? The demons are like, he's here. Miriam, he's here. And... And then she says, God help me. Yes. God help me. God sick. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with this. And then she wakes up with all these scratches. There's blood on her bed. And she's just like, ah, that was a wild night. <laughs> so she fumbles around. She go, She's having, she's seeing hallucinations. She goes to the bathroom. And this is shadowy figure. And then she's like, no. She shoulder checks through the rope. <laughs> She spears through the shadowy figure to get outside, and then she goes to the dank, stank, monkey-infested pool, and she's like, "Stay away from me! Stay away from me!" And it's a detect. It's Tony Todd and his friend, and his his partner. And she's like, "Stay away from me! Stay away from me! I don't know you! I don't know you!" And then she jumps. In. She's like, <laughs> jumps in the water. She just 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 kind of balls in. And then she sees the dead bodies of everyone she's killed, including Gabriel. And she's like, no! And they pull her out. He's like, Tony Todd is like, hey, it's me! Tony Todd! Tony Todd! Damn it! (laughs) Cut to some sort of dungeon basement that they try to fit into looking like a mental institution yeah um hannibal lecter's cage is like around the corner from where she is i guess and uh i'm trying to interconnect those universes i don't know Uh, tony todd and his uh partner are going at it again and they're just like there is no such thing as the devil the devil ain't real the devil the devil fuck the devil man the devil does not exist Devil ain't real. She's talking about the devil. She in there muttering to herself, saying, hush, little baby, to nothing. And then Tony Todd's like, wait, Tony Todd's like, I don't know, man. Did she scratch herself like that? No, no. Did she bite herself on her back and cut herself? Does she have the ability to, she, does she have like quadruple joints to do all that? The partner goes up to the window and he's like, oh shit. She's like nine months pregnant. <laughs> nine months. She is like showing like so so like dr- dramatically mm-hmm. and then and then they're like so she wasn't pregnant when she came in here was she and then Tony Todd is like no that shit's wild and the next thing we see is her in the padded cell just rocking hush little baby <laughs> don't say a word mama's gonna buy you a lucky bird and then Completely ruining the tone of the movie. <laughs> and that was Scream at the Devil. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe the, the microphone caught that. Probably. Scream at the Devil. It's it's on Amazon Prime if you would wish to en- enjoy a weird a short it's a short romp it feels longer because of the unnecessary padding and on and yeah, the stretches yeah. and then like the the could have been a good short <laughs> it's interesting that someone would like try to equate mental illness and then like someone who might be having some sort of demonic possession it's interesting but then they just have urge <laughs> try to drive me crazy <laughs> and then just certain certain editing choices that are just so jarring and so unnecessary so crazy so sh- strange that Good. is beautiful <laughs> that is that it's is um, I can look away I couldn't look it's away wreck. and I was fascinated by it. I was like what is this and then you turn. It turns out that Sherry Sherry Shattuck, the the lead, is married to the director. She's married to the director of this film. And then uh, it seems like people who are close to the who are related. I want to know. I don't know if it's son, daughter, or whatever. But there's some there's some Shattucks, and then there's the director's name, last name. I forget his name. But there's people who are connected to this family who are credited for like producing and. Or you know casting or something, and it's just like, are you are, are you guys trying to fill out your resume a little bit? Like, is <laughs> is, is this like you you? I haven't done a movie in a while. You guys want to make a movie? Wasn't she a, a Bond movie? girl? 
She was a Playboy. Playboy. Centerfold model. So she so. she she's been an actress, a model. She's been in the industry for a very long time. She is a beautiful woman, but there is just some parts that I'm just like. Like the kid. What what? God damn you all to hell! There's parts where she's very natural, like when like when we said when she was hanging out with the husband. It was like that was that was a good naturally acted scene and then there's scenes where it's just like <laughs> nobody ever worries about me it's like watching a nicholas cage movie I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! yeah there's some parts where you like okay he's just being nicholas cage crazy right there yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, there's yeah. some other parts where he's being like like nicholas cage and mandy it's crazy evil where, nicholas cage, huh? no i know but he still had like moments of real like emotion and, and rawness and stuff check it out if you want it's pretty funny it's interesting and it's just like a hot mess of editing and music that doesn't gel that was great math devil and this has been a recall episode three take care of each other